It's a free space. I want that Koopa. No. <laughs> We are Aubrey Scott Productions, where our new theme song is I'm about to whip somebody's ass. No, not really, not really. But we're going to do my second game of Jeopardy for the Game Gear, in which so far I've won myself $15,249, and I'd like that total to grow higher. Let's see if I can. And joining me for this game, we have Matthew Bingle. That's me. Yay. Michael Batten. Hey. Ben Spinden. I think he stepped away. We also have Robo Ranger 1. And he stepped away too. And we also have Jay York. I'm about to whip somebody's ass. <laughs> you know whose ass I'm about to whip it a little bit? You know whose ass I'm about to whip it a little bit? James, the computer player. Here we go, Jeopardy round. We have six categories, and they are museums, cats and dogs, former capitals, medicine, Shakespeare, and Latin America. Museums for a hundred. You can't hold a candle to her London Chamber of Horrors. Who is Madame Tussaud? I'll be right back. All right, then. I have museums for 200, please. This city's Rijksmuseum is known for having the finest collection of Rembrandts. What is Amsterdam, which is located in the Netherlands? And I'm pretty sure that people in the Netherlands are watching everybody here at Aubrey Scott Productions. Museums for 300. As mentioned in game one, I won $15,249. This Midwest City Science Museum has a coal mine and a submarine. What is Chicago? Chicago. 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 <laughs> Museums for, for 400 The Uffizi Gallery houses this country's national library. What is Italy? Italy. Italy. Museums for five hundred. Thousand dollars right now. With paintings going back to only 1880, this museum was founded in New York City in 1929. What is the Museum of Modern Art? And I ran through that category. Let's go to the next one. Cats and dogs for a hundred. 
This cat speaks for nine lives. Who is Morris? Yeah, earlier today we've been having a lot of funny moments. One of them including a very funny song that Corey Lawrence shared with us. Cats and dogs for 200 $1,600 is what I have. Dog who went from Petticoat Junction to International Stardom. Who is uh, Benji? And back to with somebody's ass. Cats and dogs for 300 Man, I'm running this entire Jeopardy round so far. Geppetto's cat in Pinocchio, who is Figaro. And of course, all the money I win in my game show runs are tax-free because, well, it's not real. All right. I'd like to have cats and dogs for 400 The Heart's Dog on Heart to Heart. Not sure about this one, so I'm going to stay where I'm at. Uh, ooh, excuse me. And it looks like James is going to buzz in. Let's see if he gets it right. Freeway, yep. Cats and dogs for 500. Mom and dad to late, not mom and dad to Disney's dog scamp. Who are Lady and the Tramp? And I would have kicked myself in the butt if I had missed that one. Speaking of Lady and the Tramp, some of us here on Skype have the 1987 original VHS copy, including myself, Jay, and Marty. Yay! 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 Now we go on to the next one. I'm going to have four more capitals for 100. Until Brasilia was carved from the wilderness, this was Brazil's capital. What is Rio de Janeiro and who who belched? Who belched? Who belched? Robo. Robo, where are your manners? Yep, Rio de Janeiro is correct. Former capitals for two hundred. For 200 years, it's czars ruled from St. Petersburg. What is Russia? Because St. Petersburg is in Russia, although the capital today is Moscow. Former capitals for 300. British, Calcutta was its capital. What is India? Bikarupa. Azu. Missed. Oh. Hey, hey. Former capitals for 400. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The Nationalists ruled it from Nanking. What is China? China. That's right. Former capitals for 500. In the Middle Ages, its, state, its seat of state was Krakow. What is Poland? Oh, 
All right, well done in that category. Yeah. All okay, right. on to the next clue, on to the next category. Let's have medicine for 100. The answer is... Patient isolation. What is a quarantine? Medicine for 200. Anti-malarial drug present in tonic water. What is quinine? Medicine for 300. I have $4,400 at this point in the game. Yay. Yep. The answer is... Cuban doctor Carlos Finlay was the first to discover they transmitted yellow fever. What are mosquitoes? Medicine for 400. Greek physician who coined the words chronic, relapse, and convalescence. I'm gonna say who is, um, I'm gonna say who is Hippocrates. All right, over the five thousand dollar mark now. Medicine for five hundred. France was the first major European country to forbid them to practice surgery. Let's see if James knows this one any better than I do. Oh, Barbers. Okay. He got it. So he's got $900 at this point. We have two categories left in the double je in the Jeopardy round, rather, before we go to Double Jeopardy. Shakespeare for 100 Hamlet found something rotten in this place. What is Denmark? Shakespeare 200. The, the Moor who loved Desdemona not wisely, but too well, who was Othello. Wow, look at all this cash I'm piling up. Many, many more men. That's right. And of course, all of it's tax free because it's not real. Shakespeare for 300. Of course. The answer is. Musical based on the taming of the shrew. What is Kiss Me Kate? Shakespeare for 400. The answer is... Chubby character who loved his ale and supplied the name for one. Who is Falstaff?
Shakespeare for 500. Now on the $6,000 mark. She was eight years older than Shakespeare when he married her. Who is Anne Hathaway? So we know the Daily Double is in the other category. is named for him. What is Colombia? Which of course is located in South America. Latinos sometimes call Anglos from Grigo, meaning Greek. What Latinos sometimes call Anglos. James. Gringos, okay. Three clues left. You have a one in three shot of finding the Daily Double, James. Is it in the $300 clue? These straw hats are made are made in Ecuador are named for the country though which they were shipped. What are Panama hats? Four hundred. Seven thousand dollars right now. Daily double. Seven thousand dollars. I'm gonna go for three grand. Here's the clue. West Point grad Anastasio Somoza formerly ruled this Central American country. What is I'm gonna try it. I'm gonna say Mexico. No. Nicaragua, so I'm gonna lose $3,000, but that's okay. Three grand down the tubes. But, now the last clue. The song Guantanamera originated in this country. What is Cuba? So at the end of the Jeopardy round, I finished with 4,500. James has 1,100, so let's go to Double Jeopardy. And he's going to start with Word Origins for 200. Com combined Anglo-Saxon words for man and wolf. Michael, An Michael Landon was a teenage one. What is a... Words, combined Anglo-Saxon words for man and wolf. Michael Landon was a teenage one. What is a werewolf? Okay, what are the categories we have besides word origins? Let's find out. All right, let's. We have travel and tourism, rulers, mythology, chemistry, and world capitals. Word origins, 400. This impertinent young person once had nothing better to do than stand around snapping whips. What is a whippersnapper? You young whippersnapper. Pika Rupa. Word Origins for 600, please. 
5,100 now. Chicanery may have come from French theaters at Chicane, a variety of this Scottish sport. From French cheaters at Chicane, a variety of this Scottish, Scottish sport. Golf. Oh, okay. Word Origins for 800. While Mr. is the abbreviation for Mr., Mrs. is the abbreviation for this lady of the house. Oh, mistress. That was my guess. But I wasn't sure. Word origins for a thousand. French for little park. It came to mean a section of courtroom floor reserved for judges. Parquet. All right. Next clue. Travel and tourism for 200. Daily double. I think I'm going to try to redeem myself by making it a true daily double. Although this Roman arena can hold 50,000, it's not on the Jackson tour. What is the Colosseum? $10,200. Travel and tourism for 400 The date just west of this is one day later than the date just east. James. Oh, the international date line. That was my guess, but I wasn't sure. 1500 for James, and we continue. Travel and tourism for 600 Big Ben isn't the clock or the tower, but this in the tower. What is the bell? Travel and tourism for 800 Here we go. 10,800 in cash. Official endorsement to show validity of a passport or a major credit card. What is a visa? Uh, ooh, excuse me. Travel or tourism for a thousand. Name of the currency of Liechtenstein, Luxembourg, and Andorra. What is the franc? Oh, and guess what, Jay? What? Tiger's currently chewing on my blanket. Huh. Is that good, Tiger? Next category. Rulers 200. Graduating 42nd of 51 in his military class, he later became Emperor of France. Who is Napoleon? I have over $12,000 at this point. Rulers for 200. Stuttering Roman Emperor who was the subject of a popular ABC miniseries. James. Claudius. Uh huh. Rulers for 600. 12 Constantines rule this ancient empire. What is the Byzantine Empire? What? 
Rulers for. <coughs> Sorry. Rulers for 800. <coughs> In 632, Abu Baker took over as the first caliph to rule after this prophet's death. Let's say it was Mohammed. Rulers for a thousand. Over fourteen thousand dollars at this point. Shakespeare's play named after this king had three parts. Uh, James. Henry the Sixth. Yep. Pika Rupa. Bazoo. Ouch! Mythology for 200. We're halfway through the double jeopardy round. The other daily double. $923. Picture writing that gave us the first information about Egyptian mythology, hieroglyphics, he got it right. So James has $3,823. Mythology for 400. There are no more daily doubles, by the way. The Valkyries led the Vikings to this Norse heaven. James. Valhalla. Uh-huh. Over $4,000 for James. Well, I have a lot more than that. Mythology for 600 According to legend, whoever could untie it would become Lord of Asia. What is the love of Matthew Bingle's bacon? No, that's wrong. The Gordian Knot. <laughs> I knew I was wrong there, but we go on. Mythology for 800. The Greek counterpart to Venus. What is Michael Batten? What's that? Ouch! He wasn't gonna let me get away with that one. Aphrodite. Alright, moving on. Mythology for a thousand. This nymph could only repeat the last word she heard. James. Echo. Uh-huh. Two categories left. Chemistry for 200. Coal and diamonds both consist of this element. What is carbon? What's that total? 14 plus. Chemistry for 400. Common kitchen substance known chemically as sodium chloride. What is salt? Wow. Look at all that cash I'm piling up. Chemistry for six. Photography uses light-sensitive salts of this metal. Not too sure. Silver. Chemistry for 800. Used in cars catal catalytic converters, it's more expensive than gold. 
James. <laughs> oh, platinum. Alright. Chemistry for a thousand. U.S. and Canada produce almost the world, the whole world supply of this lightest inert gas. Helium. One category left, and that's world capitals. Here we go. Huh. Let's do this. Swedish capital that gave us Ingrid Bergman, Greta Garbo, and Anne Margaret. What is Stockholm? The Thais call this, their city, their capital, the City of Angels. What is Bangkok? La Paz is in this country. What is Bolivia? Century. It's now Kenya's capital with over 800,000 people. What is Nairobi? If I, was thinking, if I was thinking about sex, I wouldn't tell you guys. Oh, yeah? Zoom. Oh. I, I think you are, Jay. You're probably thinking about sucking a big pickle. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Last clue. The poop is about diapers. When the Dutch ruled this country, they built canals in Jakarta as capital. What is Indonesia? Okay. I don't think he's here. Not yet, at least. Oh, huh. <laughs> yeah? Are we still filming? Yeah, we're almost finished. We're about to be in Final Jeopardy right about now. Okay, I'll, I'll wait to do this. So, I have 17800 James has $6,023. The runaway game. <laughs> Final Jeopardy category is mythology. I'm gonna wager seventy-one dollars. <laughs> Name of the ship Jason and crew travel on to fetch the Golden Fleece. All right. I'm gonna say what was. Oh, I'm not sure. So I'll come up with something. Since I don't really have an idea. I'm just going to say, name of the ship Jason and crew traveled on to fetch the Golden Fleece. I'm going to say, what was Michael Batten's erect penis? It was the Argo. Ow, the Argo. But either way, I still get to continue my run. So I dropped to $17,729. James goes over to $11,056. Yeah, 
So that's a two game winning total of $32,978. I'll see you all for that next video coming soon.